The oil and gas industry has long been a catalyst for tremendous wealth creation and innovation, with visionary leaders shaping its landscape. From pioneers who unlocked the potential of oil-rich reserves, to entrepreneurs diversifying into entertainment and philanthropy, the realm of energy magnets has witnessed exceptional fortunes and groundbreaking ventures. No one has made a greater fortune from the North American oil and gas boom than Harold Hamm. The founder and CEO of Continental Resources is responsible for cracking the code of the Bakken, the vast formation of oil-bearing rock that sits beneath much of North Dakota and Montana. With his 72% ownership stake in publicly traded Continental, Ham is now worth $11.3 billion, making him the 90th richest person on the planet, according to Forbes' newly released annual ranking of the world's billionaires. The Bakken has truly disrupted not just the American oil market, but the world's. The amount of oil flowing out of the Bakken has soared from 100,000 BPD in 2006 to more than 550,000 BPD now. Ham and many other analysts think that the potential is there for output to go to 1 million BPD, making it one of the world's biggest producing areas virtually overnight. We caught up with Ham in February for this video interview, and you can also read my past coverage in Forbes magazine about how Ham got his start and a profile of him and his expectations for the future of the US oil scene. In the oil and gas industry, the only bigger fortune than Ham's is that of the Koch brothers. But although Charles and David Koch are tied for sixth in the world, with fortunes of $34 billion each, the bulk of their fortunes are not in the operation of oil and gas fields, but in massive refineries, pipelines, and chemical plants. After Ham on the list of American oil and gas billionaires comes Phil Anschutz and George Kaiser, with fortunes of $10 billion each, tied for 109. Anschutz is truly one of the great empire builders in American history. He has made fortunes in oil, railroads, and telecom. But today, his biggest bets are in entertainment. In late 2012, he put his Anschutz Entertainment Group up for sale, hoping to get more than $8 billion. Through AEG, he operates dozens of the world's greatest concert venues, like the Staples Center and Nokia Theater in LA, London's O2, and Shanghai's Mercedes-Benz Arena. He fills his halls with his own in-house entertainment, including the LA Lakers and NHL's LA Kings. Then we have Richard Kinder, the CEO and founder of pipeline behemoth Kinder Morgan. Kinder comes in at 112th place on the list with $9.8 billion. Kinder Morgan owns 75,000 miles of pipeline and 180 storage terminals capable of handling 2.5 million barrels of oil and 55 billion cubic feet of gas a day. A former army captain, he founded Kinder Morgan in 1997 with his friend William Morgan after quitting as president of Enron the year before. Ray Lee Hunt at 5.6 billion inherited a fortune from his wildcatter father. H.L. Hunt has been building on it ever since with LNG projects in Peru and Yemen, a refinery in Alabama, and big acreage across the United States. Last year, Hunt Oil even made a big find in Iraq's Kurdistan region. He ranked 214. Robert Holding of Utah owns Sinclair Oil and has a fortune of $3.2 billion, 418. Known by his middle name, Earl, Robert Holding parlayed a stake in Little America Hotel in Wyoming into a hospitality empire, including ski resorts Sun Valley and Snow Basin and at the Grand America Hotel in Salt Lake City. He bought Sinclair Oil in the 1970s, which drills for oil and gas, and operates refineries and pipelines. Holding is said to be among the largest landowners in America, with some 400,000 acres across the West. The Bass Brothers of Fort Worth own Bass Operating Company and a host of other investments. They are notoriously private and tough to pin down, so we suspect that we're lowballing their fortunes. Robert is estimated at $2.7 billion, 523rd. Ed and Lee at $2 billion each, 730th. While we've bumped eldest brother Sid down to $1.8 billion, 825th, after his divorce from wife Mercedes. George Mitchell, the father of the oil and gas boom, perfected the combination of hydraulic fracturing and horizontal drilling in Barnett Shale two decades ago, then sold Mitchell Energy to Devon Energy, He's at $2 billion, 730th. Dan and Ferris Wilkes started out as bricklayers in Cisco, Texas, following in their father's footsteps. In 2002, 
the brothers branched out into the hydraulic fracturing and oil field services industry. But the founding of FracTech, in May 2011, they sold their nearly 70% combined interest in FracTech to a partnership led by Singapore's Tamasek Holdings for $3.5 billion. The pair recently purchased the 66,000-acre Enbar Ranch in Montana from fellow billionaire Tom Sibel, and they are building an airport in Cisco. They are at $1.4 billion each. William McCauley runs First Reserve, the world's most respected energy-focused private equity fund. Through his stake in the operating company and his share in its investments, more than 40 companies with $200 billion in revenues, he is highly leveraged, not just to the US oil and gas boom, but the world. His fortune is $1.1 billion, tying him for 1,260th place. Daniel Harrison III is a newcomer to the list. We have him ranked at $1.1 billion. In 2010, Harrison leased his 100,000 ranch in South Texas to Shell Oil for $1 billion in cash, plus royalties on future oil and gas production from the prolific Eagle Ford Shale. The deal appears to be the biggest ever for a family with deep roots in Texas oil. His grandfather, the first Dan Harrison, was a legendary Texas oilman, teaming up with J.S. Abercrombie to discover gushers like the old ocean field in Brazoria County. He built up an oil and ranching empire across Texas. Father Dan Jr. ran the ranch land and was a master breeder of quarter horses. To this day, Dan III maintains a quarter horse operation on a ranch in Falshear. For a time, Dan III shared the empire with his brother Bruce, 2004. And back in 1990, they sold a 43,000-acre West Texas ranch for about $70 million. Paul Foster Chairman of refining company Western Refining returns to the billionaire's ranks this year at $1.1 billion after a smoking hot performance by Western shares, up 90% in the past year. Foster founded Western Refining in 1997 and took it public in 2006. He spent his childhood finding ways to make money, from manning fireworks stands to begging groceries. He spent his childhood finding ways to make money from manning fireworks stands to begging groceries. As a teenager, he spent his summers in the New Mexico oil fields, welding pipes, digging ditches, and cleaning tanks. He called that labor the single biggest motivation to get an education. And lastly, at $1 billion is William Tex Moncrief Jr., the veteran wildcatter, now 92, is currently involved in perhaps the biggest thrill of his career, partnering with McMoran Exploration to drill some of the deepest wells ever in the Gulf of Mexico. Already, they've discovered the Davy Jones and Blackbeard fields with more on the way. Tex got his start in the business at age 10 with his father W.A. Monty Moncrief Sr., 1986, discovered the 6 billion barrel East Texas oil field. In the ever-evolving tapestry of the oil and gas sector, these influential figures have left an indelible mark. Their strategic foresight, entrepreneurial acumen, and commitment to exploration and expansion have not only propelled their own fortunes, but also refined the global energy paradigm. As they navigate new opportunities and challenges, their stories remain emblematic of the dynamic nature and immense potential inherent in the industry.